was a sight for my soul. or you can call me aspiring media personality I really really those of you that have been here since the start know that oh my goodness is it open know that I have always wanted to 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 be a media personality so um, today I want us to talk about safety and as I told you guys as I've always told you this YouTube channel is all about we cook here, we laugh, we cry, we talk about sex, we talk about we drink, we talk about women, we talk about men, we talk about love, we talk about uh, everything, yeah? So today I want us to talk about safety. By safety, as you can see from my, uh, as you can see on the um, topic, topic really, title. As you can see from the title, I want us to talk about safety as a woman, especially when you are doing solo travel in a cab. By this, I mean, kama wewe ni mtu wa ku travel peke yako kwa cab. I won't mention that, but tukona mob, tukona uba, tukona bolt, tukona nini, tukona safeway, tukona nini. And you, it's it's late. There are some things you need to adhere to. And this comes from the many discussions I saw and read on social media late last year that were so scary. I don't wish to never attend their home. So I had put I had I had done some research, uh, but I think I'll tell you what I personally do. We will first talk about this what I have, and then we can I can tell you how I go about my solo travel. So, uh, tips for solo female cab travelers on unpopulated roads, roads zenyazino watu wengi, to defend themselves against, against male, male violence, against drivers that are ish ish. So, before sitting in the cab, make sure that the child lock is not operative. In case it's, it, it is, just push the child lock knob up on the closer side or on the closing side of the door or inactivate it so that the driver is not able to lock your door while seated on his driving seat number two instead of sitting on the middle of the back seat or on the left side sit right behind the driver so that if so that's one of the things that I, I, I do every time I get into a cab and I'm alone I make sure I sit behind him and not Behind him, behind the, behind him, me right. I do not sit on the left. I do not sit on the, at the middle. Why? Sitting behind him makes it harder for him to attack you, as opposed to you sitting at the left side. Imagine a kitan, a kiti, and a driver. Imagine a kitan kuatakivi. This is so hard that I'm not kushikia i, kushikia i saizingine. So always make sure you're seated at the back of the driver. Okay. Um, do not wrap your scarf around your neck or your sling bag. Do not have it across your body. Uh, every time I get into it, and I am saying every time because for sure it's every time. After I read all those scary ordeals that ladies have gone through in the hands of cab drivers, I made sure that I do this every single time. Every time I get into a cab and I have a scarf on, I remove it. Every time I have a sling bag on, I remove it. Nowadays, I don't even carry my sling bag if I know I'm going to get back from late and I use a cab. I use my waist bags most of the time. So, this why will you should you do that? Because having a scarf around your neck or the bag around your uh, uh, across across your body is already a weapon for you. Aneza kuchok nayo. He can easily choke you with it. Um.
keep it loose on your shoulders unaweza yaka loose on your shoulders so either loose on your shoulders or on your thighs so that if anything happens it's easier for you to grab him other than him to put you number 4 if the driver ignores your repeated instructions to stop the car reach for any sharp object in your bag such as a ballpoint pen and thrust it with full force in his arm so that he pulls over uh, the car as a reflex action you should keep the you should keep this or any other useful object in your bag ready and uh, quickly reachable to you this includes anything that can inflict injury on someone you have time to do your preparation while you keep talking to him so uh, <laughs> i always have a compass in my bag <laughs> it's the only sharp object i have but i had purposed to get something better so always make sure you have something that in case he becomes kind of you know kaudo kaudo make sure you have something sharp that will harm will hurt him not kill him because now he, you it can be proven that you killed him but it won't be proven that he was trying to harm you okay so make sure you're wise about it uh, you can also have um, spray especially kama unaka na yeye hapo mnagotiana mkiongea hivi unaweza kuwa na pepper spray ama spray tu ya kawaida um spray macho uh reach for the body spray yeah in your handbag and as a, as the driver turns his face towards you spray it right into his eyes to temporarily uh blind him once the car stops open the door and run out screaming so that is what i had researched about it so me i want to tell you what i do every time i is it ordering yeah i i order an uber i, I order a cab Every time I order a cab The first thing I do is before niingie I make sure I ask maybe amefika naona number plate naona ni hiyo but I first ask Joseph or I say Catherine cuz that me ndio ajue yeah and make sure nimeangalia nimeona nani Number 2 make sure you sit behind him and immediately you sit you seated and you start off the journey make sure you send your trip to every single person that you can trust. Tumia chali yako, tumia mama yako, tumia best yako, tumia tuma hiyo trip. Inakuangana jine huo mse, inakuangana namba yake, inakuangana number plate. So send, 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 send. Yo, in case ukose kupatikana in a few hours or so, they know ulikuwa kwa gari gani. Haya. Always have something sharp in your bag. I always have a compass with me. Si that akifanya kitu yoyote. Kama nitapata naona ni kama niko na kitu mashine hapa. So that I get the, I get I can at least harm him niweze kutoroka. The other thing I also do is small talk. Acha nikwambie. <laughs> Ile small talk na kwanga nimepewa huyo mse kabla by the time tumefika na kwanga ta acha toka na mimi na shindo mse na shida ngani. I talk about the weather, I talk about the guy, I talk about women, I talk about men, I talk about cheating. I make sure to muongea the whole time. Ndio by the time afikirie kuni harm mimi nimemuingiza deep in stories hadi hadi ajiwezi make sure unafanya hizo small talk small talk small talk and i keep telling people usiange usiange tu hivi kwa kabu umenyamazia mtu na kasirikia mtu mbe small talk kumbe habari yako siku yako ilikuwaaje eh haya by the way route nini 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 ah unishi wapi ama because most of the times that what i do oh, habari yako mzuri oh ndio ndio umekuja kunichukua hapa nitoka kujivinjari kidogo unanipeleka hapa kabete unaishi hizo saa idama kafi utakupata au haitanipata wewe oh, nini nini kwani unaishi wapi unaishi ro oh, utaweza aje kuenda mbe ah trip ingine by the time to by the time after anything kama shetani alikuwa amemtuma shafika also kuanga na kitu sha eh the other thing is nimesema nini eh, make sure umekani maki Make sure make any make kwa na kitu sharp uh, small talk is important very very important when gauge you know when gauge kabisa acha feel ni kama mzee i feel una feel hustle yake kabisa uh, yeah of course scarf usive scarf kama uko nayo usive kwa shingo values ni mahali mm. when if ukiwa na hiyo sharp object and muone vitu zinanika zinaenda flani flani as mna engageana itafuta tu ishike ishike yeah and any time always always and learn how to make uh, fake calls ama text someone mwambie 
na kupigia saa hizi ni kwa kwa kabla na anakana chukua rahisi mbaya so mpigie mpigie story mwambie oh ndio niko hivi niko hivi niko hapa niko hapa itamsikia yeah so this year please be safe wacha ku wacha atanga tu kila saa unataka kuita cab sasa nyumelewa hata ujiwezi hata ukifika ndio anakuamsha ladies ladies the number of stories i read especially kwa edgar kwa extendela social media watu wakisema of how they've been abused physically abused assaulted by cab drivers ni a million so you need to be safe you need to stay sane stay alert usilewe pia unalewa mpaka hata niana kusaidia kupanda gari na wewe msichana shwali eh make sure unajijua jijue jeshimu <laughs> make sure unajijua ndio time unaitisha hiyo hiyo gari na unajua ni nani amekubeba na mnaenda wapi huko tu hivi una stago na angalia nje una few buildings na shule unaenda wapi no right Yeah, be safe this year and yeah. If you have any other tips that you are unafanya ukiwa kwa cab, feel free to share. Yeah, feel free to share. I am here to listen to them. I am here for it all. Okay? Yeah, so guys, oh my goodness, my actress. I love you so much, you know. Ah, so yeah, that's all I had for today. Uh, feel free to share any other tips that you may have uh, regarding solo travel as a lady. And yeah, let's share. And please subscribe. If bahati mbaya uliko unatembea tembea hivi uka ukateguka ukaanguka on this side ukashanga. Ooh la la. Look at you. Who are you? Sorry no here. Anyway, so yeah, that's all I had for today. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And ask your friends to subscribe to this wonderful channel by this gorgeous girl. And yeah, let's keep, keep Let's keep growing. Let's keep growing, let's keep sharing. Yeah, and all will be fine. Continue smashing those goals that you had for 2021. Okay? Yeah. So, bye-bye guys.